All right, Big Mac, today is Monday. It is December 21st. Welcome to the Dog Walk presented by Barstool Sports. Last snake draft of the year, people. We have a guest on Zoom here. We are joined from uh, we are joined by Nick from West Virginia. Nick, how are you? Hey, guys. Thank you for having me. I'm very nervous, but I'm also guaranteeing a win. Wow. We're nervous to have you. We know you're a tricky fucker. <laughs> no, no. I'm shooting this one straight. I don't think you that can. That sounds like a lie. <laughs> I don't think you're able to do that. I'm going to try my best. I, but like him saying like I'm going to shoot it straight might just be like the he's got us all on tilt already. I, but I don't know if that's intentional. I think he might think he's playing it straight and he's just going to have crazy answers because that's how his brain is. He no, I went with it. my gut here. My first instinct. Uh, I'm going to appeal to the masses for this one. So you're going to pander. You know that's like okay. very, we very that much here. frowned well, upon. I never said on pander. Show. I never said pander. You used a different word, different phrase. What? You used a different phrase. You got a thesaurus open? <laughs> I do. I actually do. And it you would be a, you, you basically just defined what pandering is. So I have a dictionary open, not a thesaurus. Ed, what's Yo, I'm thesaurus? sorry. I'm for the common man. I guess I. I, I guess I. I don't know. What I do mean, you want we, from me? West Virginia, Nick. Common man. Well, come on. Yeah, Mr. September, though. Fuck you. Thank you. Yes. Flip to September, you'll find me. Hey, I don't know if you've ever been asked this question before, but do you like the uh, Country Roads by John Denver? Are you going to tell me it's about Western Virginia? You going to try to be the first person to tell me that? I'm asking if you've ever been asked that question before. And what's your I answer? I do like that song. I went to <laughs> WVU. Oh, you went there, too. Do you yeah. like Kevin Pitts? Wow. No. No. I love Kevin Pitsnoggle. Him and Mike Gansey are my idols. That's who I model my game after. <laughs> you have game? Good idols. No, I actually, I have no game. <laughs> are you ready to get a thesaurus off with White Sox Dave today? Listen, maybe. I mean, I, I didn't come prepared. I don't have a thesaurus. I, I don't have my Webster's. I don't have an Atlas. I'm a, I just have me. That's uh, good. That's you have like I got. an R2-D2 looking microphone. It's kind of a weird... It's called I stole a from Jeff D. Lowe. <laughs> that guy dude's one from. Funko Pop away from becoming a virgin again. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you don't need a thesaurus, Nick, because today we are doing the Christmas shit draft. Okay? It's going to be split into five subcategories. You can get one toy, one activity, one Christmas villain, one food or beverage, and one decoration. Mm -hmm. Pretty straightforward, well, I believe. You guys just assumed I was a Gentile? <laughs> <laughs> I think never we asked. did. Tyranny. Yeah, you never asked. Yeah. Are you not? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Catholic. I, okay. I was raised Catholic. Yeah. Tyranny, I thought you were about to step up and take a dreidel. Like, <laughs> with your first pick. That'd be on tilt. That would have been funny yeah. if we had one of our Jewish coworkers on. <laughs> That would have been very. Uh, but I, Toronto, I just, it's a hate crime to leave them off. No, the no, I, I looked up how to convert last night just to throw a curveball at you guys. But the, <laughs> I, I had to get recircumcised, and they, they were just going to take a little bit off the top, but uh, it wasn't going to happen. You, you should have let us know that earlier, and we could have thrown a brisk party for you. Uh, you look, a you look like every moil I've ever seen, Dave. Do I? Is that? <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, you, yep, you're a moil. I don't <laughs> even know. What, I don't even know what that means. A guy who. Snips yeah. the dick the bit of the baby. Oh, the oh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, Nick. <laughs> it's, he, he didn't have anything to say after that. I don't know why that was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Nick, yeah, you're. Uh, you, thank you for converting. Um, the Christmas shit draft. There's only been one caveat here. It was brought up by Carl. He thought if we did game systems, it wouldn't be as fun or mm -hmm. someone could win easily. And I agreed with it. So game systems are off the table for toy. And Perfectly I know we have gamers that. listening to this. And then just the idea is like what it's it too ultimately easy. comes down to is I'm trading my N64 story for someone's PlayStation story right. Right. for someone's PlayStation 2 story for the Game Boy. So it's just like, let's be a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, can you tell your story of how your dad made the uh, N64 <laughs> out to himself real quick? Seriously? That is I a mean, good story. Kinda. Yeah, I was in uh, like fifth or sixth grade, and my buddy had brought his N64 over, and like we did had a rule in the house where we weren't allowed to have video games because we had too much fighting from the original Nintendo. So my dad put it up in the attic, was like, you guys are done. So we were known as the house you went to. was like, you can't play video games at the Sturk house because they fight too much. <laughs> and so... It was like maybe I was in sixth grade. My brother was in eighth grade. The other one was a sophomore in high school. And a buddy came over with an N64. And the three of us were collectively like, hey, this is an opportunity to show mom and dad that we're responsible enough and we won't kill each other with an N64. <laughs> so this was like October. So we were like, hey, can we get one of these for Christmas? So Christmas comes around. 
we open up all the presents at the end. My dad's like, oh, look, there's one more for me. And it was underneath the tree, and it was like the N64 and all the games and shit. And he was like, nah, just so you guys are clear, this is my gaming system. I let you guys use it. And so, like, I have full rights on this. So he'd just come in, turn it off, <laughs> like, fuck with us about it. Oh, man. That's, I mean, it's his. It's it, his. But it is his. To this day, it's his, too. So It's a great move. Did a great he ever dad. play? No, I think okay. maybe, like, Mario on Nintendo when okay. we were little kids. But I no, always he, loved that story. Yeah, so thank it's, you for a, sharing it's a great story. story. Love you, Dad. And then um, we should say, too, I'd like to throw out a congratulations to me for winning last week's yeah. draft. Oh, fuck uh, Christmas movies. Nick, I won. I don't know if you saw a lot of people. Overwhelmingly positive. What was up with, what was up with that graphic? I, my eye was going all over the place. I couldn't. I, it was tough to read. It's, it's, something was fishy. Thank you. Well, it was made by our graphics department. And since I believe in team unity, not throwing anyone under the bus, I think they did a great job. Did you? Did anybody else see it before it was posted? Or no? Nope. Just, Eddie mm. controls the means of production. I mean, th- this is like classic propaganda, disinformation. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Sack it's state-controlled media. Nick, yeah. let me tell you how things work around here. If I would have had to clear that by all four of us and Fran, that graphic's not coming out till at least January eighth. And that's all a right. fact. That might be a fact. So that's Eddie <laughs> playing know, Mr. Man. Carl's fact, however. dad. I, I, just don't, I don't know. You guys have a good thing going. I don't know why the template changes. Pretty weird. When there's something that's picturable, and everyone agreed, like the jerseys, yep. we change it. I don't well, know what about going anonymous? A... Anonymous? Okay. Funny you should bring that up. We've talked in the show. We could go back and pull all 40 whatever episodes. We've talked about going anonymous for a long time. Yeah, but it wasn't like it just happened like that. Like you just waited till you waited till you called your shot to like the That's exactly what it was. Like you waited yes. till everything was aligned and you were like, "Now we're going but anonymous." What's, but it was like, not anonymous at but, any point but, in time. You wait till you just this. wait till it's but what? Let, okay, sure. But let me ask you. What's 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 wrong with an anonymous? Well, uh, that should be better for the best five players on the floor. Chiefs build a brand here. He's got the Parada gang. They I mean, show up for him. People knew what mine was before I even did it. People knew what mine was before. Yeah. yeah. So it, it it was anonymous. It was anonymous. But, but the the big controversy is really just you leaving Fran off. And I'll tell you again. Listen, listen all these questions I have answers to. I've said on this. I could pull it a million times in the show as well. I don't decide who gets left off the pole. But and th- don't you think that? Don't you think you should leave Danny out of it and take a little bit more responsibility though? Because it is your show. Nope. And it's such part a of big being part a good of leader. Show. Part of being a good leader is delegating, and knowing who to trust. And I think he's doing a. Fi- we had a conversation. I mean, he put me in a red army <laughs> outfit when I want. I didn't think that was respectful, but I rolled with it. That was tasteless, <laughs> Nick. That wasn't tasteless. I mean, I think he hit the nail on the head. Tasteless. It wasn't photoshopped. That was just a real Yo, Eddie, picture. Don't of you. check my likes, my friend. Just don't do it. <laughs> You've been liking those. <laughs> and, uh, listen, who, I don't know. I'm up late. I, who who knows what I'm liking? It looked like a. It looked. <laughs> it looked like a World War era like postage stamp from See? the Far East. And now in the next conspiracy, did Ed post that himself because he wants to take some heat back? Mm. I'm gonna float that out there. No, I didn't. Well, there's a lot more questions today than there were before last week's episode, and it's a lot of stuff is just aligned, and that's where I would like to leave it. Sure. Very fishy with you. I'm happy I got 10 wins. Thank you, everybody, for the support. 99% positive, like I said. Um, so thank you, everyone. And uh, we'll see who wins today for, like I said, the last draft of the year. Yep. We're Saddam off Hussein next used to get 99% of the vote, too. 99% yeah. support. So just saying. I don't like that comparison. Let's talk about Roman. Okay. Most guys have tried different ways to last longer in bed, but thinking about baseball doesn't really always work. Really old on there, pal. The folks at Roman, an online <laughs> men's health company, are changing the game with Roman swipes. Nick, we better have. Anyways, you so kind the of heat uh, gets turned up. We go right to the ad read. Nick, how many pumps are you averaging per uh, session? Uh, wh- what? Uh, your secret to lasting longer in bed, brother. I don't fuck. Well, you should be, and you should be using Roman, myself. Nick. <laughs> but if I did, let me tell you, I'd want to last longer. And you'd be using Roman. I would absolutely be using Roman. Brother, I don't fuck. That was quite the, <laughs> <That's>, uh, <laughs> that was quite the line. Roman swipes are clinically proven as a way to last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and fast acting, but they don't require prescription. Roman can ship swipes to you in discreet, unmarked packaging, and each swipe packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need it. 
They're super easy to use. Just take the swipe out of the packet, swipe it out, let it dry, and you're good to go. That's it. To get your hands on these, all you got to do is go to GetRoman.com slash DogWalk, and you get your first month of swipes for just $5 when you choose a monthly plan. That's GetRoman.com slash DogWalk. Go enhance your sex game. Get some swipes. All right, so like I said, one more time, I'll run through it. Toy, activity, Christmas, villain, food or beverage, decoration. Here is the draft order. Chief, White Sox, Dave, Eddie, Nick, Carl. Let's get it started, boys. Chief, you're on the clock. All right, this is the easiest. You run up to the podium and give them your your pick. It's opening presents. There's only one activity that's synonymous with Christmas Day that you want to do that brings you the like that pure childhood joy. It's opening presents. It's the absolute. It might be the number one biggest slam dunk number one pick in the history of. of He's uh, it's such a great pick. I can't wait to see how Ed shaves some points on the graphic with opening presents this week. It'll just be like it, it'll be a box with the lid off. Yeah, like, that's oh, it. Oh, 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 the present oh, was open. <laughs> that's all it was. Well, if we're if listen, if we're being honest, some kids don't get presents. <laughs> yeah, your <laughs> privilege yeah. is showing right now. It <laughs> reeks, fucking, actually. Jesus, Nick, come and, on. Uh, hey, so, Thurman uh, Merman didn't get hold presents. On, hold Starting on. in West Virginia, they don't. Uh, Santa doesn't wrap gifts in Southern states. You come down and they're already out and assembled. So, uh, I had a good childhood and I never really experienced that. Thank good you, pick, though. That's a great point. Think about all the presents? people that don't wrap them. I mean, no, you you yeah. alienated half of the country. Dude, but a good yeah, hold, hold on, that's a real thing. You don't open presents. He's a liar. I, I, Santa doesn't wrap gifts. I, what the fuck? I think that's, that's insane. No, I mean, I'm is, saying, is he fucking with me? Yeah, right he's now? fucking with you. Don't let it. Don't okay, let it. Yeah, all right. I anyway, but like that could Nick, be true. Nick, I don't care if you had a bad childhood. Look me in the eyes. I don't care. He's like fucking hill people. Like if they might not wrap presents, I don't know what's going on. But no. Yeah, Santa already assembled. Okay, but ready to roll. Yeah, I liked right. it better that way. You can't, you can't beat opening presents. That is the number one pick. And this whole thing about oh, wow. like poor kids, whatever. You know, you could say that the little drummer boy, he gave a present. That was open your ears, open your heart. There's many ways to open a present. I am choosing the traditional <laughs> unwrapping version of it, but yeah, opening your presents Christmas morning is the best. It's a great pick, okay, in actuality here. It's a great pick. I don't know, like, you think it's just over now? We should just call the draft? I I, I, I think we should. As someone, yeah. You think it's over? Yeah, I think it's tough to beat opening presents. It's like when we did the Halloween draft and I took trick-or-treating one. Now, so like, how do you, you what do you... You have confidence that keep cheating. Well, you know I, how this I guy runs, say, and he's going to follow this yeah. up in the fourth, fifth round? There's, not, a, there's a hot. If anyone else had had opening presents, it would be a good night. Me taking it, n- the door is open a crack. Oh, I hate when you do that. Come on. That's He's true. trying to pop a dock all of us. All right. Opening presents. Good pick. Great pick. I it mean, was, I didn't think Nick would make us feel bad about opening presents on the Christmas podcast. I don't part. feel bad. No, listen, man. You guys had great childhoods. I'm not going to hold that against you. Uh, my parents worked hard, but I just didn't have some of those privileges you guys did. Gotta this is more than out. Nick Tarani. This is a national podcast. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not going to let him play my. He's game. losing the Southern vote. And all right, so now, now this is White Sox. Dave picks. He, he's next. But Carl, you said there's two no-brainer top picks. That was one of them. Just to be clear. Yeah. Okay. Open it for Christmas activity. Right. Yeah. So I'm interested if Dave goes the same spot. Number two, Dave, you're on the clock. So I heard the exact same thing, and I didn't even. I well, I should say I took opening presents off once Chief got the number one pick because I knew that's what number one was. Now I'm fucking freaking out because I, I'm worried about the number two that I don't oh, have it. No, there is a number two. There's yeah. definitely a number two, Dave. There's a number two. Oh my god, are we seeing? Is a it meltdown gonna get here? to number three? Oh my I, god! Holy! <laughs> I can't believe this. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, my no. Do I was Dave. I was gonna say hanging ornaments at, at number two, but that's not my pick. Okay, could what's be. your pick? Could be. That might have been the one we're talking about. Just stop fucking with my brain. Stop fucking with my brain. All right. I'm going to keep it clean. I'm going to keep it classy. I'm going to pick I'm going to pick beer for number two. Drinking beer with the family, around the Christmas tree, talking all the shit with each other, most likely getting in fights with your siblings is a great Christmas tradition. So drinking beer. Oh, we all looked at each other. Yeah, my dad's been that. sober for six years, so I can't really do that. <laughs> this is going to be every You know what, pick. man? Like, again, I love the pick. I love it. 
I wish I could partake. I mean, I'm not playing. I'm not playing these metal <laughs> games, and it's just everybody p- follow along for the it, ride with like, Nick Tarani here. It's hold a, on a second. The most awkward Christmas party we've ever thrown. This is an anus Christmas. Yeah, it is. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> We're saying that beer is a Christmas beverage. Yeah, this is. I, That's come on. Dave, I, mean, I don't think beer so. Is man. Like, I'm oh, not vetoing that at all. They want to take beer. Dave takes beer. And truthfully, like I don't drink a ton of beer anymore. But beer, but is, beer is like but then it's like why don't we just the category is food and beverage. Yeah, it's food Categories and beverage. But it's Christmas beverage. shit is the if they want to take okay. beer. Dave if you takes want, beer. I have, so you get the Christmas think, style. You get the Sam Adams yeah, Christmas. End, no, Dave he, takes beer. Dave has to defend his draft. That's at the end. is beer that's on your one, list. Like that's one of the no, one no. nights a year I just get loaded off beer because. Calories don't count on. Uh, so I shouldn't call. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but, it's like but why, it's why not take beer in the Halloween draft then? Because that's it looks. I mean, you're not. That's not like a holiday. Like it is, boy. That you're not. I mean, chief, you're with your family. I'm drinking beer, chief. If Dave takes beer, mm-hmm. your odds of getting left off the graphic go through the roof. Or go, not getting left off the graphic. I mean, I'm not getting yeah, left off the graphic. Yeah, because it's crazy pick. It's, yeah, it's, it's like Dave Dave is isolating himself now. I, I know, but I, I'm not going to veto, but... You think it's outside the spirit of the draft? I do. Okay. So do I. Nick, well, what, any other take, though? I'm, we're sorry. I mean, I need to get a... Uh, no, I mean, I, 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 guess, I guess Christmas Eve is the only time you can drink beer. So that was a, no, good, that, that was a good pick. But... One day a year. Like, I'm getting loaded with my family on Christmas and Christmas Eve. Nothing better than an ice cold drink I, on Christmas. I, I don't, <laughs> listen, just for the sake of the, I don't think it, I don't think it counts. So, so is I that a know. veto? Okay, yeah, I think maybe. I, 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 I have, know. like, I get where you're coming from, where you're like, hey, fuck it, let them have it because it's not. Well, in the interest of the podcast, I, I might veto with you guys to uphold where we're going, but. It would be nice if one time you initiated it, Ed. He he is initiating it. Is he? I want to hear him say it. He's I'm gonna have the veto beer. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna there I'm you gonna go. second the veto. Second, I'll second third. All right. I'll second the veto. That's fine. Fourth, Nick. No, I'm 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 gonna well, I'm gonna zag while you guys zig. I'm I cool mean, with it. It doesn't matter at this point. Two vetoes, whatever. Then I'll, I'm just gonna go with sledding. This guy. What do you mean, this guy? Okay, sledding. P- great pick. So activity off the board there. Um, so we have two activities off the board. Yes. We have sledding and opening presents off the board. Sledding is a good pick. Sledding. Sledding's, so I mean, if there's a top, if there's a clear top two, Dave said two things that were not in the clear top two. There uh, is one on more. We're we talking a saucer sled. Saucer sleds are Those top are tier. Those are sweet. Those are sweet. Would you would you guys use trash can lids or what? What was your <laughs> mode of uh, transportation? <laughs> yeah, out there? we did. Yeah, we used trash. We used trash can lid. lids. Well, I mean, like the the real metal ones. Wait, did you really? Yeah, the plastic ones. You could Wait, fucking fly <laughs> on. Those. Wrong with you. I mean, we we also had sleds, what? but we would bring the trash can lids up to. I grew up, and I'll, I'll show you guys pictures. Like sledding. Uh, we used to drunken sled when I was in college. So college, probably. It's fun as fuck. I did it uh, New Year's Eve, like twenty seventeen. Yeah. It's not a bad time. No, I like sledding. It's a fucking great time. It's like significantly more dangerous though now that we're older. Like you go you way hurt, faster yeah. at 220 than you did <laughs> when you were like a little kid and you were like 80 pounds going down the hill. Like also, it's, it's trouble now. Also, you do one run. Like you used to sled all day. I'm not walking back up the hill. No, no, no. no you can't once. do that. Yeah. Anyways. Nick? Sledding is... Wait, Nick, it's not my pick, is it? No, no, no. It's not your pick, but I just... Commentary. Sledding is fun... The first time you go down the hill, but then you have to keep walking back up. But it's, as a kid, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. You have unlimited energy. Sounds like you're pand- pandering to the nostalgia vote. What but, about? Uh, why don't you just hang on to a bumper and just just inhale the fumes of the exhaust pipes of cars? What's that have to do with anything? Well, yeah. it's part of sledding. Oh, I know. I did that year round, baby. <laughs> Skateboard. All right, I'm on the clock. Um. I think I know where your guys' heads are at, and I'm going to go with uh, decoration. Mm. And I think it it's not Christmas unless if there's a Christmas tree. So my yeah, decoration is like a Christmas a tree. Clear number this, two. See pit, that like, like Christmas tree. That is to me. That's like I I I had it on my list, but it was down the list for me. That was like so fucking boring and hanging all the ornaments and you getting all the pine needles everywhere. We always had real trees, and 
That was like the worst part of Christmas for but me. But it's not that an activity. I'm taking it as all the lights. No, that's his decoration. It's not like the art of putting up the tree or it's picking up the tree. It's in the corner of his room yes. with the presents underneath it. Like he's I just can't the get tree. the whole process of like going up in the attic or the garage or wherever and getting all the lights out. But you're out, not untangling. thinking of that process, Dave. Right. You're just I, walking finish, past. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I was so far down on my list, though. You're looking at a decorated whatever and you see a tree and it's mm-hmm. like, that's the absolute number one staple is a Christmas tree. Yeah. Like they're... There's like no Christmas without a tree. Yeah, like, yeah, like there's trees. The, like even on Australia, where it's fucking summer, they put up a Christmas tree. Yeah, I think it's that was. Okay. Is that true? So, yeah. I'm glad I got one of the two. Sure. Dave botched. Nick, no, uh, what did, what does your family have against Christmas trees? No, no, they're all for it. I think that's a great pick. Real or fake? I want a round uh, table I mean, for this one. Uh, I had a fake tree growing up. I've never had a real. I had a fake one as well. Me too. I've had both. I've got a real one in my house now. My parents currently use a fake, but I, when I was a kid, they had real. We always want real, and it was like, if it was even suggested to go fake to my dad, it was like, no, we are fucking getting a real tree, and you will shut your fucking mouth. William Williams puts his foot down. I respect it. Uh, so you like that pick? I mean, Ed, it's to me, it's the, I mean, I think it's one because there's an activity I can compete. We'll see. Let's see. Well, that's decoration. Yeah, that's I mean, no, it's clear number yeah, one yeah, decoration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I think it's an argument for one one overall. Okay, Christmas tree off the board. Nick, you're up. I'm rolling with an activity. They're flying off the board. There's been a run on them. Chief, you selfish fuck. The activity is giving gifts, oh, not getting. Fuck. That's what I was. That's see, I was gonna. Fucking... You're an adult. What are you gonna do? Run downstairs? Open up some fucking mega blocks? <laughs> it's not fun anymore. Giving I... a gift, you, you see the perfect gift for your mom. You've noticed she's been getting I, older through the years. I'm, you don't I'm, have any more Christmases you have left. I'm disgusted with you and your perception of me that you think that opening presents means I'm opening them. I have nephews. Oh, I love seeing now. my... I'm going to get up at 5.30 why. in the morning and drive to my that's sister why. to watch my my four-year-old nephew open up his presents. You, so you, you that's took opening that gen- presents. That- it's not that's me. That's the most general of a term. That, oh, my God. That, that's like even- it's all of Christmas then. What? No, that, that, that's just too general. That's too broad. No, it's opening presents. It, that's the whole process. It's not just me doing it. It's seeing the joy on everyone's not face. On we'll, 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 He's I trying mean, to out Nick, Nick right now. No, I'm not out. I'm not out nicking anyone. This is a genuine feeling. I can't no. wait for Christmas morning. Going over but there. opening presents included yourself as well. Yeah. This oh is... yeah, I enjoy it as well, and I like. No, just, I like to. I like me. I I don't care. You know, I, you don't, I like Okay, gifts. well, you're going to get presents, and you're just going to be like, I don't care about this present that you spent yeah, so much but time Chief, and money on. I think Nick's trying to be like, I don't care. Now. Nick's trying to say that you're no, the guy I just like. I enjoy giving a lot more than getting. You're the guy that like, skips the order. Like, you're always ripping yours open before someone else. But you I'm give not, yours out. So I think. I'm not doing that. I, it's it's the mm. act of opening, which is everyone Christmas morning. You guys are trying to do a mid draft slander after I took the clear number one pick. You're trying to disparage it. There's no by, slander. By point, painting me as this selfish, you know, asshole who's only in it for material you, you goods. You are. You I don't, don't even use Roman swipes, dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's just opened well, my eyes a lot to think that Chief is the guy that gets up, doesn't think about wrapping his shit. He just wants to go rip open others. So. I think the most selfish thing I've heard today is Nick not having sex. <laughs> I mean, why, why, do you keep that? That? why do you keep that to yourself, Nick? If I, you know what, I'm a, I'm a shy guy. You know, I like to be alone. Um, giving gifts, good pick, Nick. Good pick, Nick. I'm going to be saying that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Carl, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go. That was a great pick. I'm going to go villain. I'm going to go heat miser. Right off the top, I want the music piped in. If we can do that, ah, uh, Mister yeah. Heat Miser. Like, that's just absolute jam. If you can't do it, Tom, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna fucking hold it against you. But Heat Miser, villain. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that very is. Very famous. It's a very that's popular. A film. Pick. That's, that's from Rudolph too. I'm a <laughs> sucker for that. You know, it, when you think of Christmas movies, you do think of Rudolph too. So that is, you know, that's an all-time villain. That's up there with Thanos. <laughs> I actually think it's from the year without Santa Claus, you fuck, 1974. And uh, damn, I, I have no idea. And I can't have about. you torpedo. I didn't this. want to say it out loud. I wanted other people to start speaking first because I was like, "What the fuck did he just say?" He's a first-round villain. He's the number one villain. The Heat Miser. Mm. Mm. Are we doing? Are you joking? I disagree. There's number one, but he's a good villain. There he's is a, there is a number one, me. but I'm not even going to take it. Well, yeah, I know exactly what you're going to do, but you can't. It, these have to be characters. We can't take the real one. 
What? Sure, sure. Yeah, I know where you're saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These have to be characters? Yeah, that's what I think. That's, what, that's what we thought of, but uh, I'll see how I word it. Yeah, like, you. I don't want you coming in villain with, like, yeah, actually, it's my dad because I didn't have good Christmases. Like, nope, <laughs> yeah. that doesn't work, Nick. Sorry, <laughs> pal. Because my dad was a deadbeat and no abandoned way, my no family. Way. <laughs> uh, he might, why didn't you take them in the movie draft? Because I didn't want it to, as a movie, I don't think it stands up as a movie. It's creepy, but we say villain, there's nothing creepier than these claymation movies. They are really These are literally creepy. some of the most ter- Even now as an adult, I go back, I'm like, oh, my God, that is just awful. Uh, I don't give a fuck. Heat Miser is a great pick. We ask for a Christmas villain. Like, Heat Miser is my Christmas villain. I don't, you know. Good name. Just don't know if he's number one. I don't, Ed, I don't give a fuck. Especially I know with, you don't. Especially with you, the way that you've manipulated the graphic now. I don't have my name, my integrity to the well, draft. I can do whatever I want Why with the draft now. No one could criticize your draft? You can't, my point is it doesn't matter now. Hmm. Now that's a terrible are, pick. That's fine first round pick. I think it's bad. Really? It might be. You're a very good drafter. This might be the worst pick you've ever had. It's not the worst pick. It's, it's, <laughs> that it's, he's ever had? it's no. crazy. You haven't even seen the movie, Chief. You don't know what I'm talking about. I, like, I, I show I, you this character. It does nothing for you. Doesn't. Nothing for you. If, I see this picture, and it sends a fucking chill down my spine as a child. And all this bullshit I listen to week after week, pandering, 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 17 wins. I come in the first round, heat miser, and it's like, well, that's actually not a good pick. You know, I don't know what I don't know what to do. I don't know how to make anybody happy here. Well, all right, well sorry for criticizing. We can't criticize pick. your picks. So you're yeah, up next. It's you're no fun to criticize picks. Carl's picks. Uh, okay, here's another one then. Second round for you. I'm going to take milk and cookies. Good. Good pick. <laughs> Very that's, good that's, pick. That's good. That made up for it. I think if you flipped them, it would have looked a lot better, personally. Mm. I want Heat Miser in the first round. Are we doing pictures again, Ed? Uh, if we no, do I pictures, it, it, I don't... That would be too hard to do it for this. I don't think it would. Yeah, oh, I, it would. I thought would. we changed the how graphic you, to pictures. How are you going to... When put- you can. What do you want me to pick? Some fucking random dude sledding? You want me to pick some random cookies? You want me to pick some fucking random family off a Hallmark graphic opening well, presents? I think we said presents? that you aren't the one doing it. You established that the graphics team for Barstool does yeah, so I don't know them if you're giving them, them instruction. But you may just so made it you sound are. like you're you the one that well has to go it. look for all this stuff. I you're do, not. yeah. I milk, do. Milk and cookies are very but, good. What does the graphics team do? All right. I'm very confident I like milk and cookies. This is a this is a text... Is it text graphic? Yep. Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> That's the only way to do it, I think. Yeah. Um, Unless it's going to be gifts. Milk and cookies, we Nick. Do a gifts graphic. <laughs> Wait, what? All right. You like that I'll or go no? Villain, and I'll go with a character. I can work on the fly here. Um, <laughs> okay. You think of the Mount Rushmore of Christmas icons. It's Santa. Uh, who else do you think? I don't want to say anything. Yeah, okay. I know. Just pick them. Uh, maybe, maybe Rudolph. Maybe. There's no Rudolph without all of the other reindeer. They would laugh and call him names. That is my villain. I'm taking all of the other reindeer. The reindeer bullets. I, I actually like it. I actually fucking like it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fucking great pick. That's a great There's pick. There's no Rudolph without the reindeer calling all him names the other and not reindeer. including him in games. I think that's very fair. That's, that's, yeah, that's, they're they're assholes. You guys are turning up yeah. your nose at Heat Miser as a villain, and we're coming in they, here with the reindeer. They, uh, they, 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 they pick, didn't like him because he looked different. We like Dave. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> also, don't just assume that we like Dave. What is that supposed <laughs> to mean? I like Dave. How do I look different? We want to start with <laughs> your the, your beard that you have in shape. <laughs> Leave the beard out of it. Leave the beard out of it. Ed's got pubes on his chin. I'm, I'm comparing you, you to Rudolph. You got a fucking That's neck awesome. beard. You're Carl's got an egg-shaped head. Chicago. It's okay. Tom's got a big head. Danny's a twink. <laughs> I think that's a good pick, Nick. I that's think a it's a good, good pick. pick. It's Thanks, outside guys. the box. That's why I appreciate it. I think it's okay, and I think it's going to be hard to play on the graphic. Yeah. But I like where your head's at, Nick. I think I think Nick's getting a little bit more favorable treatment from the crew than we normally give our guests here. I you think, think that pick so? Was, yeah, I think that pick I was okay. I think his first two picks, he counteracted Chief. He disarmed him. I thought that was good. He and didn't I thought disarm anything. This one was creative, so I honestly think he's had two good picks. Yeah, I just, the Reindeers is a villain, Eddie. That's a great villain. They're assholes. Yeah, but he had to You're explain asshole. that on the podcast. We're, we're talking about from right. the perspective of you, you know what I'm going it. back to. Yeah. Um, I might advocate for him and that I might just take it. Hey, we're going to pause here from campaigning for myself to explain Nick's pick. And it was a great pick. I might do that because it was that good of a pick. Wow. This is not Thank me you. after Nick's dick. We're going to do a Manscaped read next. He's going to tell us how the deodorant works on Nick's balls <laughs> in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So it's back to me now. 
Can I ask if I could take something? Because I kind of have a little discrepancy here. Well, why don't you take it and then we'll veto? Yeah. I don't like that. No, that's how it works. I just did that. All right. I'll take it because I'm pretty confident in it. If you guys allow it. I think there's a very big distinction of this. I want to take Christmas Pito. cookies. Just joking. No. What was it? Christmas cookies. Yep, the sugar cookies. No, Christmas sugar, cookies. Sugar you know cookies? the fucking cookies that the people, you know. Yeah. There's a six six person party. They all baked them all night. Everyone made one, and then they mix them up. They put the cellophane over it. They hand it out to every house. You know, a lot of them have the big Hershey's Kiss on one. It's just like a big, like a group baking in his Christmas cookies. So is that an activity or a food? It's I, a food. I just took milk and cookies. Well, that's why I'm asking because I think there's a difference. So yeah, taking... there's definitely. I took milk and cookies as like you leave them out for Santa. Santa. Yeah. Yeah, this is a different type of Christmas cookie. I, I think would allow so. This. Just so like my, I think, my food and beverage is. Uh, That's why I'm asking. Milk and cookies. So. Just, I I think it's there's a definite I, difference. I think there is a difference, <laughs> oh and I think that I think there is too. <laughs> so what kind it, of cookie? Wait, what kind of cookies? Nick, do you, you know, do you leave out with milk. Those are Christmas cookies. I always thought. They? I always assumed. That it was automatically chocolate chip cookies for I only, Santa. I do kind of feel like you might have to make it your activity, though, if you want the Christmas cookie, baking Christmas cookies. But see, I just want the taste. I want the plate to show up at my door. <laughs> That's like, hey, like six moms are in the back of the whatever, mm. listen to Christmas music and sweaters. They bake these and they hand them out to like people who whatever. I mean, Christmas cookies, the way like I know exactly what you're you talking about. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone got the, you know, the, the Christmas tree. I will it's not, ambiguous. I will not be vetoing. I won't be vetoing. I'm so, not. So that's so, it. So that's it. I'm going to throw board. a veto on the board just because I just drafted cookies, and I think I have to respect my draft and out of respect for my draft. I'm that's just putting fine. a veto on the board, and if somebody else wants to join me for the vote, but I'm that's not going to expect it. But I think there's a distinct yeah. difference in exactly. the, in the uh, Nick, by agree. the way, it takes two vetoes to overturn a pick, so you do have the power to send Ed packing on this one. I'm cool with it. Yeah, I'm cool with it. There's, I think there's a difference. But Thank he you. wouldn't so, even be able to take that as his activity because he already had hanging lights. No, I don't. I have Christmas tree as my decoration. I had it backwards. Yeah. That's my fault. So All right. So Christmas cookies is my food or beverage. Uh, White Sox, Dave, back to you. It, so, with a smile on your face, you do that too. But I, I – yeah, because I think that's a high pick. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. Fucking six moms get together. They bake yeah, for yeah. the yeah. whole neighborhood, and okay. you get them, and they show up. Yeah. yeah it's great. I, yeah, I think that was more fourth, fifth round, not second. Oh, I, I think, think you that's reached a big for part it. Of Christmas. Yeah, it's I would definitely. Disagree. But I, but that's fine if you think I reached. It's a fair. That's your I title to your opinion. Cannot believe that Carl went with Heat Miser over these two guys. I'm going with the Wet and Sticky Bandits for my villain. Would you prefer Harry and Marv, the Wet I mean, Bandits, the Sticky Bandits? What do you want? I I always. Divert to calling them the wet bandits. That's they're right. some of the worst yeah. villains of all time. Are you kidding me? They're not funny. They're they're so hilarious. ineffective. Fucking, yeah, the what? The what? villain. They're funny. The category isn't funny villain. Yeah, when, when, it's not entertaining villain. It's they scary. Are synonymous with Christmas villains. It's. I mean, I don't want to give away picks. Everybody knows what the other layup is. I think Heat Miser was Carl's worst pick. I think in Heat Miser is like a legit scary movie character to me. And my childhood, and all this bad pick nonsense. I mean, just people who know Heat Miser. It's a good pick. The wet bandits are awesome. I mean, it's a, are they the wet or the sticky? Or can I? I come mean, in they and, are. They're the same people. They just they just rebranded. That's what I asked them. You want Harry and Marv, or what? Do you want the wet? What do you want me to write here? I would go the wet bandits. Okay, but that, that I don't want it if someone else can draft the sticky bandits. No, uh, I think no, yeah, they're, 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 the, yeah. they're the same people. They're the same people. It's, they just rebranded. Yeah, I would say Wet Bandits, parentheses, Home Alone. Yeah. That's what I would want on the graphic. Nick, you like these guys? It's an unreal pick, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> it's a real good pick. That's, that's two very good Christmas movies where they are the villains. It's uh, uh, you got a lot of bang for your buck there. I can't believe it got back to me in the second round. I was praying to God it did when I went with sledding. Um, but, yeah, the and they were, I'll, I'll say this, they were going to be my first overall pick. My in the first rated? round, technically second overall, but then I started freaking out after I heard that there's a clear cut number two, so I went with sledding instead. No, that's a good, that's a great pick. I yep. was that was certainly strong board so right far. There. Yeah. Um, all right, Chief, back to you. Hmm. I have one that I want to take, 
but I feel like it's going to get vetoed, so I'm just going to say it. I'd like to take champagne. You're having Christmas dinner. Veto. Veto. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing Quickest as beer. Quickest veto of all which, time. Yeah. Okay. So champagne's out. <laughs> Actually, wait a second. Do you want champagne? No, it's been vetoed. Um, I'm going to take for a food or yeah. beverage, I'm taking the Reese's yeah. peanut butter cup shaped like a Christmas tree. Okay. So re- just put Reese's. Reese's pe- tree. Reese's tree. They're, I don't know. they're, I don't know how, but they're better than the regular. They're, they're better. They're significantly better. They're so they're, much yeah, better. I don't know if I've better. ever had one. Oh, Dave, they're you are better. missing out. They're, I got to go to the gas station. Like we'll go to Walgreens after this. We'll get, a I have bag. to, yeah. I have to get one. They're good. They're great. So yeah. the Reese's tree, that's my second round pick. So food and beverage is off the board since I couldn't have champagne. Um, hmm. Good pick. Reese's tree. <sighs> I'm between two here for uh, for the villain. I'll, I'm going to go. This is where I fuck up the draft. I want a villain here. I'm going to go with a Christmas stories villain, Scott Farkas, the redheaded kid with the fucking yes. coonskin cap. <laughs> Nick, I'm sure you have one of those. And, um, <laughs> wow, <laughs> shot fired. Fuck? And, you know, just it's just like that's a great Christmas movie villain. Everybody knows that kid. Ralphie gets redemption on him at the end, just beats the piss out of him. But he was like that scary older kid in the neighborhood villain. Uh, so Scott Farkas. And Scott. that is a Scott. phenomenally Scott. ugly boy. He is an <laughs> ugly boy. It's, it's it's a good pick, but like, you know, I know it's how not many people layup. will know how many people will know it. Yeah, we'll see. You I know? mean, I, I would like the same Dave treatment where it's in parentheses. Uh, a Christmas story. Oh my God, is that kid ugly? Yeah, he's. I mean, I'm. I just googled now. He is every bit as ugly now as he was before. Is he Sherman from? Uh... No, <laughs> uh, I can see. Yeah, yeah kind of. It, it looks like him. It's yeah. not though. But they have to be related. The Shermanator. <laughs> this is I'm, awesome. I'm a sex robot yeah. sent back in time. <laughs> um, back to date. Good. Yeah, that's a good pick. He, yeah, you're right. He is. He looks right. He, there, there was a layup on the board for villain, and yeah. I went with the one that I like better. All right. So true to yeah, chief. he's a great villain. Yeah, um, I chief. think That's that admirable. it's admirable. Thank you, thank you, Nick. Uh, White Sox day back to you. I got a few near and dear to my heart. I could go with, but I could get those later. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go. I wanted. I mean, alcohol is a big part of my life. We all know that. I like to drink. I'm just gonna go with boozy eggnog, a little rum, a little bourbon in the eggnog, spiked eggnog, spiked eggnog. Okay, and um. I know eggnog is very polarizing. I happen to fucking love it. I know it's creamy and it's kind of gross texture, but I fucking love the taste of it. I could drink it like water. Um, then, you, yeah, like I said, put a little rum bourbon. Yeah. Maybe my, heat it up a little bit. I always hated it. And then my cousin uh, married this woman who's Puerto Rican, and she had like her own Puerto Rican flair on uh, on the eggnog. I don't know what was different, but it was different. It was fucking awesome. And now I, I'm I'm an eggnog guy. I understand why people don't like it, though. Puerto Rican eggnog, Nick. What was that? Sorry. Puerto Rican eggnog. <laughs> Have you had it? Oh, it's that, that they know how to do it down there. <laughs> Puerto Rico is known for their chilly weather. They're, it's good. They're good at making hot drink. <laughs> <laughs> Carl eggnog, spiked eggnog. Yeah. It's booze. What do you want me to say? Yeah, that's it's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> spiked eggnog, and obviously that takes eggnog off the board completely. Mm-hmm. Uh, back to me. Chief, I know who you're between, and I'm going to take him right now because I can't risk Nick getting him. I'm going to give him the one villain who doesn't need a parenthesis at all. No, you're right. And it's the fucking Grinch. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. I was down to the wet bandits and the Grinch. Grinch. Like, if you were going to power rank him, like, if, if this was going to be He's like, not a villain, though. He turns good, right? But he is the villain. He's well, the what do you villain. mean? He's isn't, the doesn't he turn one. good? He's the antagonist. I brought this yes. up pre-production, and someone know, told man. me that the Grinch was not a villain. They're like, the yeah. story is about him turning Christmas. good. Yeah, but he doesn't. But he tried to. Okay. I, I would say misunderstood, not a villain. Or, yeah, it's like, is I, Ebenezer I Scrooge a villain? Grinch. No. But it, it's like, is attempted murder still a crime? He attempted to steal Christmas. He just got foiled by I a mean, child. I mean, are you talking about the attempted murder? He's walking out of the correctional facility after he's been properly rehabilitated and he's been let go on his own accord. Then I would say, yeah, he's not a bad guy. I will not be vetoing the Grinch in any single way. For the it moment. will be crazy if the if the Grinch you can't. Okay, the Grinch. <laughs> hey, I'm wor- listen. We're drafting. We're working. I get, it. I get it. If you're new to this, I'm sorry. This may seem weird, but this is how. This is like, fine. I'm working my way through the draft. You got to poke your hole. You got to poke holes in people's boats. I get it. Sorry, 
if you're listening and you get if you think a whole poke for the Grinch is okay, I don't know what you're doing. The Grinch is, like you said, synonymous with one of the biggest villains. He fucking wants to steal people's presents. Picture kids around the world with no presents under the tree because of that green fuck. The Grinch is my pick. Nick, you're on the clock. Great pick. That was a um, lineup. Yeah. Happy you got I'm going to go with a, uh, a decoration. <clears throat> you know, a tree. Tree is cool and all. I loved the pick, Eddie. But it's a real, it's a pain in the ass. It is. It's, it's, it's a huge chore. You know what's easy and just exclusively Christmas? Hanging up a fucking stocking. A stocking on the fireplace. Decoration. It's easy. It looks Christmassy. You have the fireplace going. It's a beautiful sight. It looks like a postcard. So stocking. Hanging up there. Hung with care. Gotcha. Yeah. So just stocking, obviously, because you use your activity, not hanging the stocking. So you're no, just- no, not hanging the stocking. Stocking is my decoration. <laughs> stocking. I had to make. Got to make sure. I had. Stocking. I was actually. Stocking. I'm pretty sure I had it from my first Christmas ever. I had a Rudolph stock stocking, and when I was like 15, I'm still pissed about it. When I was like 15 or 16, it caught on fire. Oh man. That's yeah. Tough. <laughs> I'm still I'm still salty wow. about it. It caught on fire. We're all eating dinner, and we're like, "What? The, what the fuck's burning? Like, did we lose the stove on." And we look, and the fucking Rudolph stocking was on. Did fire. someone throw a lit candle? You know, one hundred percent polyester stocking. <laughs> no, it was like flame. it was like cotton. It was thick. It was a good stocking. Was your house okay? Yeah, everything was fine. A little little uh, smoke <laughs> along like the black thing along the wall, but no big deal. Nothing How did you can't it paint over. Um. I think it was an electrical thing. Okay. And only yours got burned? Yeah, only mine got burned. Oh, no. That's tough. That's yeah. There, yeah, there's something. Uh, Do you think that you deserve that? That might have been God saying, like, hey, like, you need to get your shit together. Yeah. yeah like, you, you probably should have gotten way. some coal, but instead, we're just going to light your stock. I, I'm, I loved that fucking thing. I loved it. I actually still, my dad still might have it all burnt and chewed to shit. I, I got to look. The, when, when I go home for Christmas, well, I'll dig for that. There you go. Stocking is Nick's pick. Uh, don't get yours uh, burned down, obviously. So, Yeah. Uh, there you go. Nick? Not the best. I think it's... But a, it's certainly a decoration. I think it's a good pick. That's where the Reese's trees were in my house. That was huge in the threw, stocking? Threw them in the stocking, yep. What did you guys... I got... Once I got older, I got like toiletries and shit like razors and deodorant and shit like that. You never did stockings? No, never. We do, and there's... Like one, you know, there's these ways you hang the stockings in the house, and like my brothers and I are just so utterly fucking competitive that like one of the <laughs> one of the ways you hang it was like this red Santa Claus, and the other ways you could hang the stockings there would be like these, they were all the same. There was just one that was different, and we would literally fight with each other every fucking year who got to use the Santa Claus, so that my parents had to come up with a system so that we could rotate <laughs> whose stocking was on the Santa Claus each year because there was so much fighting about the Santa Claus. I can't imagine growing moment. up with all brothers. Yeah, it'd be madness, chaos. Uh, it call your though. That said, my activity: spending time with family. A lot of presents here. A lot of giving. A lot of taking. A lot of opening. But you know what, Nick? You brought up earlier when White Sox Dave tried to draft beer, like, oh, the one day of the year. I'm 33 going on 34 this year. I'm telling you, as you get older, the opportunities to spend time with family become fucking impossible. Christmas time's one of them where you can get multiple days together and you can fuck around and hang around. So I'm going, you, with, the, you're I'm going 33? with the family. You're 33? Going on 34. Why? What do you think I am, 50? Wow. You, do you smoke a lot? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Why? No, no, never mind. No, you can say it. It's the spirit of Christmas. We're all family here. No, 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 no. It's I, no. I would have guessed right around thirty-three. Spending time You're with glowing. family. How well, old do you think I am? Um, thirty-five. Yikes. Oh, no, I'm uh, I'm thirty-eight. Off. It's not that far off. Okay. <laughs> you guys are all hovering the mid thirties, right? Yeah. 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 Well, I am. All right. I, I'm. She's the oldest one here. He's 34. I just turned, thir- well, 32 on the 30th of October. Chief, I'm do you offended. like the pick? Right. Quality time? Yeah, that's uh, fine. See, I would it counter hurts that. It doesn't it? It hurts you to say it's a good pick, right? No. I, I mean, where were you no, last week? I, I gave you compliments. when I, I, I comment as I see fit. Last week you had a great draft. I said so. I thought you. I thought you were a runaway winner until Ed stole it. And then uh, you. this week, I think you're having a hard time. 
it's fine. I uh, I will counter that by saying I enjoy fighting with my family during the Christmas season, which is a yearly tradition of ours. We always get in fights some way, somehow. You enjoy that? I enjoy is not. It's just part of what we do. Just like hanging a tree. It's a chore. Yeah. Or not hanging a tree, like setting up the Christmas tree. Part it's of the a process. chore. Nobody likes doing it, yeah. but it's part of your family's like tradition. All right. Spending time with families off the board. Carl, you're up again. Yeah. My first bicycle. The first toy of the draft. First toy. Great great pick. Thank hey, you. Carl. Toy. Good pick. Thank you, Chief. I didn't know what was going on here. I thought oh, I was going on. Me. I mean, but listen, dude. I'm, That's what we're going to get some strong reaction yeah. on Heat Miser. Will you like that? No. I love it. You fucked me. <laughs> you fucked me. I came in with bike. I should have taken it. I got greedy. Yeah, bike's, bike's a good pick. Bike's Run big. downstairs. You see a bike with fucking pegs on it. What a day. Did Only you th- have front pegs or back pegs or both? Both. So could you grind? What? what does that mean? Is that like having a earring in my right ear or something? <laughs> Grinding? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that. When's the last time you heard that? A oh, long time. Fucking A, man. The 90s? <laughs> yeah, the 90s. Yeah, yeah no, you do. You know, he has pegs on his front and back tire. <laughs> do you like bike, Chief? Yeah, bike bike was it's, uh, it's I thought it's first round toy. I, I thought it would go in the first round. So the fact that Carl got it in the fourth is big. I bet you, you know, his I don't know who the fucking heat miser is, but if he had taken bike in the first round and heat miser in the fourth, it might be a different conversation. I don't think it matters though. Oh, it think, oh, the yeah. definitely yeah. matters. No, it people don't matters. no people don't read it like that because it's he, such a and, hodgepodge. And I said Heat Miser, you're you're discrediting Heat Miser all too much, I think. I've never seen it. I've like, never seen yeah. it. Like either, if you yeah. have forty percent of the people on the panel, I don't but know. But I agree. I, I don't I'm not I don't agree tough. with him being a first rounder, but mm. I'm saying like Well, that's why I said if he's in the fourth round, maybe it's a you know different But bike is bike is bike a certainly a good pick. Yeah. The only thing that sucks about a bike is you gotta you gotta wait Four months, five yeah, months. but like, but that's like but, a personal problem. But even like it, where we you, live, you wheel it around the driveway once, or even like I had a couple years where you would take get it out right away. Yeah, I would always take, take it out. It out. Right. One yeah. year, in I got a snow? new. The, when I got my new bike, like the GT fucking badass, I also got a new jacket, Dave. It was a reversible Northwestern Wildcats jacket. Do you still have it? No, Ooh. I but would. It was buy like that you got the your... new winter coat, and I was like, oh. Was that the year they were sweet, like ninety five or whatever? No, it was eh, a little. It was like ninety eight. Yeah, it was okay. right around there. Like maybe my parents were like, "Oh, he's he maybe he could go to Northwestern." Nope. <laughs> and uh, but the you put the jacket on and then you went and rode. Someone the bike. I saw a Northwestern starter jacket at a tailgate a few years ago, and I offered him a hundred bucks to pay, and he's like, "Fuck no." And I have looked up and down the internet for a Northwestern starter jacket, like the old Charlotte Horner jacket that everybody yep. had. One of those, and I I still want that thing to, to this day. If you guys want to get me a Christmas Good gift, jacket. which you all should, I don't. That's right. what I want you guys to get me. All right, Nick, you're on the clock. Bike is a great gift. That's like synonymous with gift, but that's also birthday, and it's more of a summer toy. Um, I'm going to go with a more Christmas toy with a uh, a train set, a Lionel train set. Dude. You don't even have to get it. It's around the bottom of the tree. Uh, it kind of goes hand in hand with Christmas. Nerd. I'll just say that. Like that's, I cannot believe nerd. you drafted that because I like train sets. One thing, Lionel train set is a whole nother level. <laughs> that's Christmas. That was going to be my pick. I thought that was yeah. a layup no. fifth round pick no. for me. No. I no, swear to doing- God. Ed, look, I delete them as we go. What is what does that say right there? It says Lionel. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to do it to you, man. I can't believe someone else uh, they, drafted it. They would blow smoke. Yeah. That, they're they're that expensive as fuck, too. They're sick. They're, they're awesome. Sick. What the fuck? Do mm-hmm. you guys like train sets? Dude, they, Ed, these are like, these have been around for like a hundred years. I mean, years I know or, what they are. But the like, Lionel train sets, though? We got oh, yeah. a bunch of tracks, and my, and my, my dad does in the it's in like the crawl like space. like Bobby Bacala. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm not fucking Bobby Bacala, I guess. I can't believe There's that was taken. There's a lot you can get year-round, but train is almost exclusively Christmas. Yeah, uh, I would you, say so. That's yeah. Are you the type of guy that sets it up and you just watch it go around for hours and hours? Dude, my dad move? and I would set it up and we'd like make it zig and zag around the trees and around the presents and shit. We had fun with it. We have one yeah. of my house. Hey, Nick, what about um? They're like antiques. They're, they're worth a lot of money for the old ones. Like a lot of money. Do you like the smell? That's it. Do you like the smell? Oh, the, the smoke. Oh, that yes. Smoke? That's yes. Such a good yes. smell. Yes. Hell such yeah. a smell. Such a good smell. I don't that even. Is the smell. I don't even hate. The- <laughs> I'm just so perplexed at how much Dave loves these trains. I just can't believe someone sense. else drafted it. It's a good pick. It makes a lot of sense. Like like I said, like, tr- 
trains is one thing. He had specifically a Lionel train set, which blows my mind. Wow. All Gotta right. Gotta go Lionel. Holy shit. Okay. Lionel train God sets off it. the board. I am uh I am now up. Okay. I'm trying to look at what where I am in the board. I'm gonna go with a toy here, okay? And I'm just gonna go with a nerf gun. Fuck you. It's that was classic. my pick. Yeah. It's classic. <sighs> That's been the Christmas pick. toy of the year the most out of any toy ever. Uh thank you, Jeff D. Lowe, for that fun fact. That was my pick. That was going to be my next pick. I was going to go Nerf gun, numbers game there. then fucking really. That's the number one toy ever bought. Well, bought? it's like it's it's one uh, boys' toy of the year the most, I believe. Yeah. A variation of a Nerf gun. I mean, Nerf guns are sweet. I know yeah, it's in the Toy Hall of sweet. Fame. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. That, I mean, it should be there's like so many different the variations. Nerf gun Hall of Fame. Like it should just like that should be out front. Like this is the first thing you see. It's the most important toy you can have. They're so advanced now too. Are they too advanced? Yeah, I mean, teaching kids violence is sick. So, yeah, that is a really cool pick. <laughs> Nerf Just gun. feeding into the military-industrial complex, Eddie. You it's sick fuck. That's okay. I'm okay with it. Nerf gun. I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, White Sox, Dave, you're back up. Oh, I'm so pissed. I I think I would have won the draft if I, that would have slipped to me. I really do. But you said you were going to take Lionel. I was going to take Lionel fifth on my okay. wraparound because... I, I just didn't think Chief would draft the Lionel train set, but um, okay. I'm going to go Transformers for my toy. Okay. I mm -hmm. love those fucking things. You build Megatron up, you know? Yeah. Love loved Transformers. I, I like the cartoon movies, too, I remember when I was younger. I like those a lot, too, but I never had the tactile ability to uh, transform it. It was always halfway between a truck and a, and a robot. Yeah. It takes some work. It, it takes some motor function. Nothing from you two. I uh, am interested to see where you guys stand. Well, on Transformers? Yeah. I wasn't a big Transformer guy. Yeah, I think it's a better show and brand than it is a toy. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't. Now it is, yeah. Remember, I have a couple Transformer toys that I think of, but. I didn't get into it at all, so I'm not like, I would never pick that. I'm not like jealous that you got that, but I respect Transformers. It's like, it was monster. Yeah, yeah. it was It was a huge deal in the 80s and 90s. Do you like Power Rangers? Oh, yeah. I did. I loved it as yeah, a kid. Yeah. Power Rangers were awesome. But Transformers, yeah. like, eh, doesn't do much for me, but a lot of people are going to like it. Yep. Um, all right, Chief, we're back to you. All right, I'll go toy here as well. Um, I'm taking the Vortex football. So the Vortex, you know, they had the John Elway commercial where he throws it out of the stadium. You just go outside with, like, your cousins or your brother or whatever, and you just throw bombs. And there's nothing better than the throwing woo! a bomb and it had the whistle. Yeah. Like, the awesome. Vortex football yeah. was so fucking sweet. Someone would bring it to school when you play, like, play like 500 or flies up yep. uh, when you got back from Christmas vacation. So, yeah, the Vortex football. That whistle is burned into my memory. Oh, yeah. I haven't yeah. thrown a Vortex in years. I could hear I that could... thing from two miles away today and be like, that's a Vortex. That's a Vortex, that and I would want to go play catch with them. That you, thing convinced me that I was athletic, yeah. <laughs> uh, which was it set me up for failure in the future, right. uh, because I, I was I was a confident motherfucker tossing that. But then I tried out for football, and uh, they made you bad. play with a real football. Really bad. Yeah, yeah, like, real we'll, 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 Right. Yeah. That is a good pick. It's also great for an overconfident adult. Like if you ever get an argument, like a weird haircut Seth thing, where it's like, hey, <laughs> how far can you throw a football? But like, all right, you think you can throw it fifty yards? How about can you go seventy five with a vortex? Fuck yeah! <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. easily. You give me the vortex, I'll throw it a hundred. Well, how about the <laughs> commercial when the vortex was announced? It was like John Elway walking out of the stadium and yeah. throwing it one hundred and forty yards. Yeah, that's what Chief just said. Just oh, said I'm that. sorry, I was yeah. I was not paying attention. Mm. Um. So <laughs> Vortex, and then my fifth round pick. What do you need here, decoration? I need a decoration. Yeah. And the decoration pool is still very deep, in my opinion. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to be horny or traditional. Ooh. And Nick? Did you take horny? Horny, yeah. Um, go horny. Do you want me to go horny? <laughs> yeah, All, yeah. Right. All right, I'll take a mistletoe. Get a little smooch oh. underneath the mistletoe. That's something, you know, you're at a Christmas party or something like that. There's a mistletoe there. Bring your girl. Have a little smooch. It's a moment. I'll take a mistletoe. Is that horny enough for you, Nick? Uh, it's wholesome. That was, that was it's, horny. it's wholesome horny, though. It's wholesome yeah. horny. Yeah. It's a good brand of horny. Yeah. But it, horny nonetheless. White Zach's, absolutely. <laughs> White Zach's Dave, is it horny enough for you? 
I don't. I wouldn't call that horny. That's more romantic. Horny is like, oh, I want to plow this girl. That's true. Yeah. So you're thinking of a class. What like, about oh. a work party? What about a work party? Yeah, that's kind of where my brain after was. Year, too. You're, you're tonguing down the receptionist under the mistletoe. Come on. <laughs> You been there, Dave? Your logistics. No, Dave? I haven't. No, I haven't. No. <laughs> All right, Chief, your draft is complete. White Sox, Dave. You need one more. What do you need here? I need a decoration. I have one that I kind of want to go with, but it's kind of boring. But so is the other one I want to pick. I'm gonna. No, I'm just gonna take it because I like it. I think it adds great. Um, What's the, I don't even know the word I'm looking for. It adds great Christmas cheer to the house. I'm just going to go poinsettia flowers. It's synonymous yeah. with Christmas. Um, it's a great bowl game, too. Poinsettia the bowl. poinsettia bowl, yeah. Um, yeah, it's in San Diego every year. I love the poinsettia Yeah, bowl. I'm sure they got lots of snow in San Diego this time of year. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and yeah, I don't know. It's just synonymous with Christmas. I, lo- I love the way the flowers look, actually. They're I like pretty. the, the they're dar- Yeah, they're r- dark red. Mm-hmm. And I like blending the dark red with the like hunter forest green. I like it. So However, I'm, poinsettia flowers... Is that how you pronounce it? On the graphic. It? I think it's just Ponsetta, right? I thought I always said Poinsetta. Poinsetta. It's spelled Poinsetia. You're adding a vowel yes. or a syllable in there. I, just, I think it's Poinsetta. Poinsetta. Should we call poinsetta. my mom? I know I it's spelled Poinsetia, but I think you're right. It's pronounced point, Poinsetta. You almost said Poinsetta. Yeah, I think it's Poinsetta there, but uh, a good pick. That is a Christmas flower. I don't love it. Do you have a Christmas flower you like better? No, I just don't. Flowers, the fuck, mm. Dave. Flowers, flowers are nice. Flowers brighten things. Yeah, up. I a. Hey. Wait, you don't like you don't stop and smell the flowers. You don't like flowers. I was at. Uh, I don't know. I'm looking at the rest of my board. I'm like, damn, Dave. I don't know. There, I mean, there was a lot of decorations. I know. had there was another one I had, but you guys would have made fun of me, right. so I'll save well, it for. All right, the, you got Nick, you already took a decoration. You took yeah, stocking. Okay, perfect. I took stocking. Yeah. Oh, because you need that's your last thing. My last one. Yeah. I have the I have the best decoration left. I think. So let me ask you that. Are you happy he took that? Yeah, very happy. And are you happy Chief took mistletoe? Very happy. Okay. Yes. All right. I think I have a great little sneaker decoration in here. There you go. All right. So it's to me my final pick. I need an activity. Uh, one of the best theme parties of the year is always the ugly sweater party. So I'm going to that. That's my activity. I'm very happy I got it. I so- mean, in a pandemic, Ed. <laughs> a little yeah. insensitive, you think? Are you wearing masks? <laughs> I, listen. This is Zoom ugly sweater. Ugly sweater. Yeah. I didn't, anyone's got a Zoom call. Yeah. I, cool, did not, I didn't say Zoom ugly sweater party. I said an ugly sweater party. <laughs> Can I say that I think the ugly sweater thing has jumped the shark a little bit? Yeah, it has. It's a little bit. It's a little bit much. It was like it was good like ten years ago. Now I feel like it's. But just, it's more so like an easy theme for Christmas. Everyone likes it. What do you want to throw? You want to throw on your fucking? Slacks. You know, well, I know. I know you're loaded with Christmas sweaters. But like yeah, like nice yeah, Christmas yeah. turtlenecks. Yep. But the same fact that you could just throw on an ugly sweater, go out. It's always it's easy. And it we have ones for my mom though, because my mom like has them, like the the one from the eighties yeah. and the nineties with yeah. the reindeers and the goofy ornaments and all the shit that my brothers would take down to college. So like when we we would wear those. So to Chief's point, it was a cooler thing when it was like, hey, we have a Christmas party. You know, it's just a Show Christmas up. party. Come over, and then someone would be in just like some ridiculous ridiculous sweater and you're like oh man that's funny like yeah it's my aunt yeah. nancy's with the shoulder pads and the glitter yeah, you could get some look like i remember i did tea box one year and i like i ordered one online like a like an ugly christmas <laughs> sweater because it wasn't like where they had like the crew neck so they just printed on there as much it was like a women's extra large which ended up being like a crop top on me so i had like my gut hanging out and i just wore it because like that's like an ugly christmas sweater but now yeah Nowadays, yeah, it's they, uh, sure. yeah they, I, I I'm with you, Chief. That they're, they're kind of played. It kind of jumped. The, they're they're made to be intentionally ugly now. Right. There was a charm back when they weren't meant to be ugly. Right. They just right. were. Someone with just thought and now they're made to be ugly. What's the fun in that? Yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are going too much into the look. I'm just saying that going to an ugly sweater at Christmas party. Like I think okay. it's people don't like Halloween parties because you got to dress up. It is uh, easy. I'm not creating. It's so easy. You go to Target. They yep. got a bunch of stock. It's ones. cold. You do, you're you're miserable because of that. So it's like you know what? This is simple. I don't need to think of an outfit. Throwing on an ugly sweater. I'm going to the party. I'm gonna get fucked up. I'm gonna have a good time. It's one of the easiest, best theme parties easy. of the year. It is easy. Um, I'm thrilled to get it at the fifth round. You got a lot I of easy I think it's an awesome here. pick. I think it's a great pick, too. It's not okay. even just an easy pick. It's a great pick. Nick, you're up. Uh, so I have to go with food here. Um, there's a lot of foods that are winter foods. You know, eggnog, milk and cookies. You know, what is inherently Christmas? Hand. I'm going to go with figgy pudding I don't even, what? for my food. 
Uh, what it's is in that? an all-time Christmas carol. It's pudding. you think of figgy pudding, you think of Christmas. There's no, there's not. People don't know what figgy pudding is. It's just Christmas. I don't. I don't. And mm -hmm. leave us I right think here. Fig, I think it's fig pudding. But you, figgy is. What oh yeah, knows I know this. It. Yeah, everybody yeah. knows that. A figgy rich pudding. boiled pudding made with flour, suey, 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 figs, and other dried fruit. Eaten uh, pe the people so want it's a brought fruit to cake. Them. The people want it brought to them. That's all I know. Okay. Okay. Figgy. Yeah. All right. Pudding. So that's your pick, huh? That's well, my pick. Thanks for coming out, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, <laughs> catch you next time. That was a Nick pick. That was a Nick uh, pick. Figgy pudding? Yeah. That, that is the most Christmas of all foods. It's a good, I like your rationale behind it for sure. Like you, when you hear figgy pudding, you think of Christmas. So don't get me wrong, but the fact that nobody could tell you what the fuck it is without looking it up is a problem. But I love it because it's a Nick pick. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Yeah, uh, Carl, yeah. Mister Irrelevant decoration. There's nothing better than, uh, like before Christmas. Like this weekend, I'm doing it. I'm wrapping all the presents, and then they're going under the tree. So I'm just taking presents. When you have the presents that are pre-wrapped and they're out and around the house, it just feels good to have the presents out. I'm taking presents as a decoration. Oh, gee. I don't think that Look that... He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows. Yeah. He knows. You I know why. You know that's face. a veto. No, that's not, not a decoration. Why? why is it because... That's not a decoration. That's not a decoration. Why? Because it's not. It's for decor presents. when you have presents Carl's on the tree. Carl's looking for his gravy at this point. That's yeah. yeah that's Carl's what looking for his do. gravy. You're telling you me. Know, you, you know. know. <laughs> look in that camera. Look in the camera. And I'm looking at the camera right now. Yeah. Viewer, are you telling me? I want the audience that's watching this on YouTube to think very hard about this for a second. Are you really telling me that if you put the if I put the presents underneath the tree a week in advance so I can see the presents and I'm walking around I'm like the presents are in my optics and it's part of the decor that I can't draft it as a decoration? It's not a decoration. I don't think so. It's not a decoration. You're going to have to sell me better it's than not that. not a decoration. Dude, present. That's, that's, that's four, four veto. It's a unanimous I'm veto, which very I'm not even talking about happens. Chris. It's because you guys know it's such a great mystery relevant. Dude, we're going to go giving presents, opening presents. Where do the presents go? I love go? how Carl's questioning our integrity of the as the ones vetoing the pick instead of his integrity as the one trying to slip one by He's a scheming man. He's a scheming man. Yeah, it's a scheme. Veto. It's a unanimous veto. I want to take a Lionel train set as a decoration. I want to take the train around the house. Are we? How how often do you want to play this game? Vito. Do you want to have the discarded wrapping paper as a decoration next? I was thinking about, wait, we haven't even talked about wrapping paper. How can I incorporate wrapping paper into the decorations? And I went with pre-wrapped presents under the tree. Uh, okay, we're still on Mystery Relevant. Um would you like to pass? Just take a fucking wreath and let's end this. I'm not taking a fucking wreath, Ed. Garland? I'm in between, well, I mean, there's yeah. wreath, there's snowman, there's garland. You can take the entire nativity scene if you would like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Garland's a nativity <laughs> scene works. Uh, what about those mini villages that, like, crazy Ooh, my moms mom, built? My mom Ooh, has those. She mom. loves them. Yeah, I want to take those. I yeah, want to take the mini. What are those called? The, I, I don't know. I try to the find Christmas them. Village. Like mini Christmas yeah. village. Okay, yeah. mini uh, Christmas village. That's yeah. actually a way yeah. better one, I think. That like that's mom. A much that mom's build. That mom's build. That's a little much. I mean, everyone. You, if you yeah. listen to the show, you mini know. Mini Christmas village. Six I'm words. With, I I'm, I'm with Carl here. It, it's a mom thing. It's inherently sure. a mom for thing. I think that's assumed. It's yeah. Yeah, and you make the snow out of like cotton balls and stuff like that. Yeah, so that's like me. Okay, if that's the case, then I'm getting Christmas cookies that moms bake. Like that's this, that, that's well, and, I, and oh, I'm man. taking Reese's peanut butter cup trees that my mom put in the stocking. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like you know, many Christmas fields is strong. Listen, you took Christmas cookies. Don't tell me that I'm being too nuanced. Good pick. Don't Dude, tell me I'm being too nuanced. Everyone here. understood what I meant. No, I vetoed. I mean, I know that, but I took milk and you cookies. You know, I don't think you ever. You know what I? You know, I know what the you heart mean. of heart. Carl knew. I know. All right, I'm going to run through these one more time. Then we'll do honorable mentions, and we'll get out of here. I should say beforehand, though, I brought this up probably a month or two ago. I never circled back on it. Uh, there is a guest out there, a listener. We want to have a listener on the show. 
but we somehow want it to coincide with raising money for small businesses. Obviously, it's a tough time for everyone. Um, we're just kind of figuring out how we want to do it. Of course, if anyone has a good idea of how we could raise money, mm -hmm. get someone on the show and help people out, please let us know. Slide into the DMs at Dog Walk Barstool, whether it be Instagram or Twitter. Help us help you. Yes. Well, if you want to come on the show, bullshit with us. We'll shit on your picks just like we do for everyone else, mm -hmm. or we'll say they're good picks. But uh, we just obviously want to help people out. So we're trying to think of the best way. If you know of a good way, uh, let us know, and then we'll make this happen. Um, but yeah, that's really, that's really, I just want to get that out before we finish up here. You guys um, are good people. Thank you, Nick. Uh, Chief, mm -hmm. opening presents, Reese's Tree, Scott Farkas from A Christmas Story, um, Vortex Football, Mistletoe, White Sox Dave, Sledding, The Wet Bandits, Home Alone, Spiked Eggnog, Transformers, Poncetta Flowers, Eddie, Christmas Tree, Christmas Cookies, The Grinch, Nerf Gun, Ugly Sweater Party. Nick, giving gifts, all the all of the other reindeer, stocking, Lionel train set, figgy pudding, Carl, heat miser, <laughs> milk and cookies, That's spending great. time with family, bike, mini Christmas village. Yeesh. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. Read mine back. Heat miser. Heat miser, milk and cookies, spending time with family, bike, mini Christmas village. I love it. Bike was bike was strong. Let's and I'm telling you, if you're doing villain, and and I can't wait to hear from people who know this. Heat miser is the scariest. There's no scarier debate. than the bumble. There's no debate. Scarier than Marv? Fucking kidding me? I mean, no bomb point. Little snowman. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. Let's do some uh, honorable mention decoration. Lights? Yeah, I had lights. Christmas lights would have been good. I had Yule log. Uh, that's a, I, do you yeah. guys do the fake one Ornaments. on the TV now that they play like 24 hours a day? What do you mean you had U-Logs? U-Logs a thing. That's just a fire. It's just like, I think it's just a fire. Yeah, but yeah, U-Logs, no, there's, there's, no, there's, there's not just a, a log. Christmas log. I, there's I, fake I, ones. I'd agree with that. I don't know. I would Christmas. have vetoed that, but we're beyond Ornaments, that advent calendar, wreath, fake snow for a windows. A U-Log is a traditional dessert. Nutcracker dolls. Nutcracker dolls. Yeah. That's a good one. Any other uh, decoration fights, ones you had there, Nick? That's more winter. Well, we'll go by I mean, you, took, you took a lot of the, off the list when you said Christmas tree. You took like 10 things. You took tinsel. You took bulb. You took star. Yeah. Uh, Did he, though? Because I had Christmas I was going to take ornaments. Yeah, I thought ornaments and, and tree topper like a star would have been Might have slipped through the cracks. There might have been a lot. Almost trying to take presents because I thought that was part of it. Too. Um, but that's a good point, Nick. Uh, food or beverage, candy cane, ham, hot chocolate, Gingerbread, Christmas M and M's. I had. Anyone else have any food or beverage? No, um, I, I, I did have making there. gingerbread houses as, as an, an activity. activity. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, anybody else? Which sucks, by food? the way. Oh, I like uh, ham. I can eat so much ham. Ham. Yeah, ham. Love ham. Activity. I had midnight mass, snowball fight, ice skating. Uh, how's it? Anybody else? Ice skating is a good one. I, I didn't even think of that I was one. Close to taking peeing in the snow. I had uh, a. <laughs> that would have been good, actually. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. Writing yeah, it's your blast. name with your with your wang. Yeah. What about Christmas break? Yeah. And I I didn't find a way to like, like fill that in on here. Uh, Christmas villain: uh, Hans Gruber, Ebenezer Scrooge, Mister Potter, Mister Potter, Dementor, yeah. Sinbad from Jingle All the Way. Yeah. Any I mean, other I ones? Think that's the list. Villain. Say yeah, Dementor from Harry Potter. The name is Dementor. That's Sinbad's character when he turns into a villain on Jingle All the Way. Any other toys to wrap up here? I had connects and Lincoln Logs. I would always get when I was like six, seven, eight. No nine. Legos. I like. I, I, <laughs> wait, 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 I love connects. I mean, you do Lincoln Logs and connects, and you just skip over. That is like Legos. that's <laughs> so, that that's so synonymous with like people around our age. I feel like everybody had that. Connects was awesome. Yeah, you, Legos I, is good. Wiffle ball and bat, basketball. Yeah, I, I bouncy balls. New, Do you guys have the super bouncy balls? Those are sweet. Yeah. Um, Talk boy from Home Alone. Gun. Yep, that was cool. Yeah. That was Do awesome. you guys get silly putty every year, or was that just a me thing? Is that a Christmas thing or a me thing? I've gotten yeah. silly putty before. I think there's Christmas silly putty. I think we Is like there? got it rubbed into the carpet one time, and that was the end of that. Oh, Absolutely yeah. Yeah, house. that kind of shit we couldn't do because it was just destroy the house. Super soaker, street sharks, and super I really wanted on, this. Yeah. Sock and boppers. Those things were uh, fucking lethal. Those were fucking yeah. great. Those are great for five minutes until somebody had a bloody lip. And oh, then yeah. I like kids were getting knocked out. They oh, were yeah. boxing shit out of my brother. Did you ever have things. a friend that had sock and boppers and moon shoes? What a combo. <laughs> <laughs> Trampoline, we got that one year. That lasted about That's a good three point. hours before uh, 
we all almost broke our necks, and my dad unbuilt it. Weren't moon shoes just like really industrial elastics? Yeah, like overlaid on extremely cheap plastic molds. They're like tramp- and, trampoline shoes. And they advertised that you could jump higher in them, but you you couldn't jump at all. They they sucked. <laughs> they, they sucked. They really did they suck. So bad. <laughs> No, they're as bad as a pogo stick. Whoa, like, whoa, whoa. I don't hate pogo sticks. Pogo I sticks have a place. Yeah. I disagree. My buddy had stilts in his garage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking, man. We'd be over there, block party, his dad put stilts. the stilts on. <laughs> I'm not joking. It was stilts in the garage. It's fun for all the have. ages. That's like a year uh, You guys are Chicago talking about garages. Oh, here we come. Yeah, you've been hanging <laughs> out with KB. You want to talk some shit? Here we go. Yeah, you want to talk some shit? I, I was out. I was out with KB when that happened. He was like, "Yo, yo, I want to beef with Carl," and he just has he been responding to you a lot? Yeah, he like he like likes to pick and choose his spots, and I'm <laughs> on the. I might block him just to send him a little message, put him you on probation. You might have to. <laughs> oh man! All right, Nick. Thanks, man. All right, guys. I appreciate it. it was a lot of fun. All thanks, right. Nick. That's it for today, everybody. Last draft of the year. We'll be back in uh, 2021. With a future hopefully. draft next week, will be a best. Yeah, hopefully, will be a best of. Uh, thanks everyone for listening. We'll be back tomorrow and Wednesday off Thursday, Friday actually. So see you tomorrow.